Your truck is going to be chalk and secure, right? Okay. So let me go ahead and get out. Oh, and my my are going <laughs> Alright, so you first before you get in the truck, you gotta make sure your tire is truck. So when you do it, you wanna make sure you wanna look at the level of your truck. Level. If you see your truck at a level like this, you're gonna put the truck in the front tire where the back uh, drives are right here. Okay. If you see your truck uh, at a at a great downgrade like this, you're gonna put the truck in the back tire and the back of the uh, tire, alright? If you see your truck at a downgrade like this, you're gonna put the truck in the front of the tire. Okay. If it's level, you put it in the front. Why? Because when you push your air brakes, your parking emergency in, the truck will roll. If it's not secure, right. All right? Okay. So now I got my truck, it's level, I take it, I put it down, it's in the tire. When you get in, you're gonna come in at three point contact. You're gonna open up the door. Open up the door, hola. Open up the door and you're gonna get in a three point contact. One with your foot on a step, two with the door, three with the steps, and you and you come in. Got it. Once you come in, you shut the door and you put your seat belt on. Okay, got my seat belt. Okay, so now <clears throat> I'm gonna say good morning, Mr. Examiner. My name is 230 town bow legged redneck. Good morning. I'm here to perform my air brakes and my in cab and general knowledge today. First, I want to let you know I'm going to start out with six items. My first item is going to be my seat belt. My seat belt is not ripped, it's not torn, and it's not frayed. It unbuckles and buckles properly. Tight and secure to the amount of my cab with the proper bolt. Number two, my parking, which is yellow, my emergency, which is red, they're both pulled out that indicates my screen brakes are activated. Number three is going to be my gear shifter. My gear shifter is not cracked, broken, or missing any part. I'm in neutral. Number four is going to be my steering wheels. Not cracked, broken, missing any parts, and no more than two inches of play. Number five is my clutch. No more than two inches of play as I tap on it. Number six is going to be my air gauge. My air gauge needs to be reading below 80 PSI to continue with the safe start. But at this time, Mr. Examiner, I want you to know that my truck is equipped with two types of air gauges. I got the primary on top and the secondary on the bottom. I'm going to read the primary through the entire inspection. For me to read my air gauges, I have to put my truck into the on position. You take the key, you put the truck in the on position. You go to your panel here. My ABS light, this little round one says ABS. It is on. My ABS light just went off. That indicates that my ABS system is working properly. All right, Mr. Examiner, at this time, my air gauge, is reading at 100 psi. I have to be below 80 for I can continue with the safe start. So at this time, I'm going to fan my brakes to get below 80 psi. Once again, I'm reading at 100 psi. Okay, Mr. Examiner, I'm at 70 psi. I'm below 80. Now I can continue with a safe start. So now I'm going to go clutch in, make sure I'm in neutral, and I start the truck. I'm going to release the clutch slowly. Can someone come up and see what? Turn off the truck for a moment. Do I finish? Okay, Mr. Examiner, my next test is going to be my cutout and my applied leakage test together. But first is my cutout. What is my cutout? My cutout is when the governor turns off the air compressor and I should not go over 140 or it's a bad test. 
How am I going to perform this test? I'm going to accelerate between 10 and 15 RPMs until my primary needle stops. At this time, my air gauge is reading at 90 PSI. And my test starts now. Okay, Mr. Examiner, at 125, my cutout happened at 125, mm. making this a good test. Why? Because I did not go over 140. Now I take my foot out to accelerate it. Next, I'm going to turn off the truck. I'm going to put my key back on the on position. You're going to turn the key to the right. Now I'm going to push in my parking and my emergency brake. Okay, Mr. Examiner, my next test is going to be my applied leakage test. What is it? My applied leakage test tells us if our air brake system is leaking any air. While holding down on the service brake, I should not lose more than 4 pounds of pressure in 60 seconds or as deemed as a bad test. How am I going to perform this test? At this time, Mr. Examiner, I'm going to hold down on the service brake. As soon as my primary needle stabilizes, my 60 seconds will begin. So now I'm going to put my foot on the service brake. I'm going to wait until my needle stabilizes. As soon as it stabilizes, then my 60 seconds will begin. Okay, Mr. Examiner, make sure that you don't have a phone, a Galaxy watch, or Apple watch. Make sure you got a regular stopwatch, all right? Because if anybody calls you on the phone at any given time, even if you have an airplane mode, it's an automatic fail, all right? So right now, my air gauge is reading at 100 PSI, 100 PSI. Now, my 60 seconds will begin. So, I'm gonna push my timer and my 60 seconds to begin. Okay, Mr. Examiner, I am 30 seconds in and I'm listening for air leaks inside and outside my cab. Okay, Mr. Examiner, my 60 seconds is up. My air gauge still reading at 100 PSI, making this a good test. Why? Because I did not lose four pounds of pressure in 60 seconds. I lost zero pounds. They want to hear the pounds at the end. Now I'm going to release my service brake. Okay. Mr. Xander, my next test is going to be my low pressure warning device test. What is it? That's when my low warning light and the alarm should activate in the range of 75 and 55 PSI. Anything above 75, anything below 55 is a bad test. How am I going to perform this test? I am going to drop the pressure or fan my brakes until my low warning light and alarm activate. Now, you're not going to wait for this one to stabilize. The minute you see it and you hear it with the needle, you call it out right away. So right now, Mr. Xander, my air gauge is reading at 100 PSI and my test starts now. Okay, Mr. Examiner, at 70 PSI, both my low warning light and alarm activated, making this a good test. Why? Because I was in a range of 75 and 55 PSI. My next test is going to be my spring pop-out test. 
What is it? That's when my parking and my emergency brake should pop out in a range of 45 and 20 PSI. How am I going to perform this test? I am going to fan my brake until my parking and my emergency brake pop out. Mr. Examiner, at this time, my air gauge is reading at 60 PSI and my test is going to start. When you do it, you're going to do it non-stop with the, uh, with the air, with your uh, service brake, non-stop. If you do it like on and off, on and off, most likely one is going to pop off before the other. Why? Because the air is going up and the air is going down the tube. If you keep doing it non-stop, the air is going to push it both of them out. So once again, I am reading at 60 PSI and my test starts now. And I'm going to do it non-stop. Right now I'm at 35. Alright, at 35 PSI, both my parking and my emergency brake popped out. Making this a good test. Why? Because I was in a range of 45 and 20 PSI. Okay, Mr. Examiner, at this time, I'm going to go outside and remove my chalk and come back in and continue with my air brake test. I'm going to take off my seatbelt. I'm going to open up my door. Open. Come back out. Three, three point contact. One, two, three. I'm going to open up my door and I'm going to come back in three point contact. One, two, three, and lift myself up. I'm going to put my seatbelt back on. And I'm going to shut the door. Okay, Mr. Examiner. Now I'm going to continue with my air brake test. So now I'm going to start off with a safe start. Clutch in. Make sure I'm in neutral. And I'm going to start the truck. And I'm going to now release my clutch slowly. Okay, Mr. Examiner. Next is going to be my max. What is my max? My max is just filling the air tanks up back with air to the max. How am I going to perform this test? I'm going to accelerate between 12 and 15 RPMs until my primary needle stops. At this time, my air gauge is reading at 30 PSI. 30 PSI. And my test starts now. Now remember, this test will be a little bit longer because you're at a low pressure, all right? Okay, this examiner at 125, 
I am at my max. Okay, Mr. Denver, next is going to be a brake skin. I want to let you know at this time my truck is equipped with four types of brakes. I got the parking, I got the emergency, I got the trailer, and I got the service brake, and I'm going to inspect it in that order. But first, it's going to be my parking brake. How am I going to perform this test? I'm going to put the clutch in. I'm going to put myself into low gear. And first, I'm going to check my parking brake. This is what we call like the top tag. So now, I'm going to push in my emergency brake. I'm going to release the clutch slowly. As soon as you release the clutch slowly, you feel a tug of vibration. You push it back in. Okay, this examiner, that little tug of vibration you felt indicates that my parking brake is working properly. Next is going to be my emergency brake. I'm going to pull out my emergency and I'm going to push in my parking. Okay? I'm going to repeat the process. I'm going to release the plug slowly. Get that tug of vibration, push in the clutch. Okay, Mr. Examiner, I tug of vibration to fill in the case that my emergency brake is working properly. Next, it's gonna be my uh, my trailer brake. I'm gonna put my hand through the steering wheel. I'm gonna pull down on my trailer brake, and I'm gonna push in my emergency brake. I'm gonna take my other hand and put it back down on my trailer brake and put my other hand on the steering wheel. I'm going to repeat the process. Release the clutch slowly. Get that tug of vibration, I push back in my clutch. Okay, Mr. Examiner, I tug the vibration that indicates that my trailer brake is working properly. Next is going to be my service brake. This test is going to be different. So now, I'm going to put my foot on the service brake. I am going to take my trailer brake and release it. You're going to push it back up. I got, now, I'm going to help with my hands over the steering wheel. Okay, Mr. Examiner? Next is going to be my service brake. This test is different. I'm going to move two to five feet at four to five miles an hour, and my steering wheel should not move to the left or to the right. If my steering wheel moves to the left or to the right, that indicates that my brakes need adjustment. At this time, I'm going to release the service brake. I'm going to release the clutch slowly. As you release it slowly, you're going to move forward a little bit. At the DMV, there'll be a truck in front of you. So release the clutch slowly, you're moving forward, you push it back in, and you push down on a service brake. Gently, not super hard. Okay, Mr. Examiner, my steering wheel did not move to the left or to the right. That indicates that my brakes are working evenly, and my service brake is working properly. Make sure you say service brake, not just brake, because you got four types of brakes and my service brake is working properly. Next, I'm gonna secure my truck. I'm gonna make sure that I'm back and I'm in neutral. Pull out my parking and emergency, emergency brake. I'm gonna release my service brake and now I'm gonna release my clutch slowly. Okay, Mr. Examiner, that concludes my air brake test. Now I'm going to do my in-cab and general knowledge. Now, I'm gonna do my mirrors on the outside. They're clean, they're visible, they're not cracked, they're not broken. There's no illegal stickers to prevent from my view. And they're well adjusted to me. My windows, you push the button, they go up and they go down properly. My door, it opens and it closes properly. My door window seal, that red is not torn, is not missing. You're preventing any water or air into my cab. My windshield is clean, it's visible. There's no legal stickers to prevent my view. My windshield weather seal is not ripped, it's not torn, it's not missing. To prevent any water and air into my cab. And my, my windshield wipers. They're not cracked, they're not broken, not missing any parts. They're not illegally welded. 
my wiper blades. They're not ripped, they're not torn, and they're not worn. And they're free of any debris to prevent any scratches on my windshield. Now, I'm gonna turn this button over here where your directional signal is, and I'm gonna turn it. Turn them on. Then, I'm gonna push this in. I'm gonna push it in for the windshield wiper fluid. My windshield wipers and my windshield wiper fluid, they're both working properly. Next, I'm gonna come down to here, and I'm gonna go to my heater. My heater, my heater's working properly. I'm gonna turn the button over here, for my defroster, and my defroster, my defroster's working properly. Oh, it's hot in here. Next, I'm gonna go to my, to my brake. My parking and my emergency brake. My knobs are not cracked, they're not broken, they're not missing any parts. They're pulled out, indicates my spring brakes are activated. Next, I'm gonna go to my gear shifter. My gear shifter's not cracked, broken, or missing any parts, and I'm in neutral. Now, I'm gonna go to my emergency compartment. It's three components. Number one, I got a red box next to me in the middle. It's got three reflective triangles. And in the cup holder, I got an extra pack of fuses. Next to me on the left, I got a fire machine in the chair. The gauge is on green, it's up to date, it's fully charged, and I got a counter pick going through the handle, lock and secure. And my fire machine is clamped tight and secure to my cap to prevent it from rolling while I'm in movement. Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my directional single, my right directional single, my left directional single. They're both working properly. Next, I'm going to go to my four-way flashers. You push the button on top of the steering wheel. My four-way flashers are the blinking green arrow that indicates that my four-way flashers are working properly. Next, I'm gonna go to my headlights. There's a button on the side of the steering wheel here. You're gonna push it forward. It's got a little light on it. You push it forward. I got low beam for the city. You're gonna take the directional lights and you're gonna push it towards you. There's blue indicator light. Indicates my high beams. My high beams are working properly. Next, on the panel to the right, we got fog lights. You're gonna push the button. My fog lights are working properly, but they're for foggy conditions only. Next, I'm gonna go right here to my truck. Is I grip it with two types of horns. I got electric air for the city, and I got air inside a little button to the steering wheel here. You push it in, and I got air for the country. Now, all I gotta do now is do my, my steering wheel. Once again, it's not cracked. Now I broke in, I'm missing the parts, and no more than two inches of play. My clutch has got no more than two inches of play as I tap on it. Now, I'm just gonna read my air gauges. My oil between 30 and 60 PSI. My water below 180. My speedometer, you're gonna hit the accelerator. Boom, working properly. My speedometer, I'll check it while I'm in motion. My battery, should, volts should be between 12 and 14 volts. My fuel is enough for the trips, and my air gauges are reading at their max. Okay, Mr. Exam, that concludes my air brakes, in cap, and general knowledge. Now, can you go outside and help me with my front and my rear exterior light? So they're gonna go to the front. They'll go like that, to the right. Right direction of single. Left direction of single. Four-way flashers. Push the button towards you. They give you a thumbs up. After that, you're gonna go to your headlights. Low beam. You're gonna push this towards you for the high beam. High beam. You're gonna go up. All right, they give you a thumbs up. Now, you're gonna go to the back and you're gonna go, you're gonna go right direction or left directional single or right directional single, four-way flasher. And then you're gonna push it in a separate brake, okay? And then they give you a thumbs up. And then they're gonna come around and they're gonna let you know if you got enough points to make it to the skill. That concludes my air brakes and in cab and general knowledge from Tall School of Trucking. Damn. Look how long. <laughs>